as Black History Month kicks off this week, we have a fantastic story from the Philadelphia Tribune. The charcoal company Kingsford is celebrating black barbecue culture in America with a new fellowship program called Preserve the Pit. Take a look. So as we stoke the embers of barbecue history, we invite the next generation of entrepreneurs to blaze their own trail because it's only by investing in the future that we'll preserve the past. Okay, now here to tell us about the barbecue genius behind Blood Sows Barbecue, the Compton Barbecue stand that's gone worldwide. Please welcome a fifth generation pit master who learned to barbecue from his great aunt. It's Chef Kevin Bloodsoe. Hi, Kevin. What's up? Yeah, how y'all doing? Wow. What's up, Drew? I'm What's really up, honored to meet you. I've been to your LA outpost, and it is just, I mean, there's a reason that you franchised and become such a huge deal. Kevin, thank you for stopping by. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm elated to meet you and uh, Ross. I'm looking forward to this. Let's, oh. let's have some fun today. <laughs> <laughs> we are so honored to be speaking with you. And also, you are a mentor in this new incredible mm -hmm. fellowship program. Will you please tell us about Preserve the Pit? Oh, wow. Preserve the Pit by Kingsford is the prime example of, of somebody keeping it 100 and putting their money where their mouth is. I mean... The biggest problem a lot of times when you start a business is the not knowing the know-how yeah. and having all the information. So many restaurants fail. Kingsford is putting a stop to all that. I mean, they have some legendary, and not talking about myself, some legendary up and coming young pit masters. I mean, I tell people right now, go to Preserve the Pit right now and sign up. Uh, you got until now, until March 1st and starting April, we're gonna get this thing going and we're gonna have these people locked in from April to September, teaching them everything. and, and and Drew, you know what's happening. You got some neighborhood in you. You know, game is to be sold and not told. And we giving it up. Kingsford and us is giving up. Kingsford been putting good smoke in the air for a long, long time. And now they, they are really paying it forward in what they're doing. I am so proud to be part of this. It's crazy. Well, what an incredible way to learn. Yeah, and everybody loves, I mean, loves barbecue. We've been eating barbecue around here. Yeah. Uh, but barbecue's in your bones, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, you say you learned everything from your great aunt, her name, Willie Mae Fields, right? You call Granny? Yeah, yes, Miss Granny. Yes, Miss Willie Mae Fields, Corsicana, Texas. Uh, and my mom learned a lot from my mom, Jean Bledsoe. She have a fit if I keep kick her out of it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm born, I'm born and raised in Compton. So uh, I had the best of both worlds. You know, I had to, you know, grew up in the, like I said, I had the, uh, uh, the tough streets of Compton and the country roads of Texas. And uh, I learned both sides. And I got to work with her every summer. She had this little hole in the wall underground juke joint that uh had a whole lot of things going on but I always turned it to the uh karate kid wax on wax off she was teaching me <laughs> things that I never thought I would use in my life mm. that I still use to this day man because that's what she would always say well you got to get you a legal hustle you know what I mean legal hustle means learn how to do something because you never know when time's gonna get hard you're gonna lose a job or something like that and you need something legal to fall back on <laughs> And who would have known years later, you know, I would be doing blood souls with the things that she taught me. And that's what this program is about. If I didn't have people like her in my life and teaching me, and now Kingsford and Preserve the Pit is giving me the opportunity to give it back to some people who really, really need it, man. It's just, it's, it's amazing. And I am so glad to be part of this with, and some young and upcoming legends on this team with us. It's, it's gonna be incredible, man. I'm really looking forward to it. I love your food so much. I was so excited to do this with you. Thank you from me and Ross, mm -hmm. really, uh, for sharing this really important information. And for pitmasters at home who wanna apply for the Preserve the Pit Fellowship, you have until March 1st, and we'll share yes. the details on our website at thedrewbarrymoreshow.com. Thank you so Thank you for much. Thank, Thank you. Great time. Thank you. Great to meet you. No problem. Get Thank out. you. And see you soon. See you soon. We want to leave you with something that you can take on the road with you. It's time for Doggy Bag. <laughs> well, it's the perfect accompaniment to not only Meat Week, any food situation. This is my go-to. It's Saluna. 
is the brand. It's Kimberly Snyder, who is a true guru on health and wellness and digestion. And this is the Feel Good Digestive Enzymes. And you take them right before a meal and they help your body metabolize proteins, fats, and carbs more effectively. I never go anywhere without it. It is my Amex card. And I notice a huge difference in my weight gain if I don't take it. For reals? For reals. I'll take two. Yeah, there you go. I take three before every meal. Well, thank you, Drew, for these. I'm obsessed. And thank you all for watching. We hope to get to see you again We tomorrow. hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.